Over the years, surgical procedures have improved by leaps and bounds, turning science fiction slowly into reality. Rejoined Spine In 2009, while playing in a field in Ferozabad in Uttar Pradesh, India, a 10-year-old boy fell beneath the moving blades of a tractor's harrow. The accident left his vertebral column literally cut in two. He was rushed to the hospital, but after five hospitals advised they could not treat him, he was taken to the All India Institute of Medical Science Trauma Center. During a surgery that took more than eight hours, doctors were able to rejoin the severed spinal cord. Unbelievably, the boy started to regain sensation in a month and was able to walk again in nine months. Surgery in Utero Kylie Bolin was only at the 22nd week of her pregnancy in 2008 when she found out her unborn baby was suffering from amniotic band syndrome, which causes babies to be born missing limbs. At the Monash Medical Center in Melbourne, surgeons performed what is believed to be the earliest in utero surgery ever performed at the time. By inserting a two millimeter operating telescope into Kylie's womb, they were able to cut the constricting band around the baby's ankle with a laser and electric current. A few weeks later, Leah was born. She required additional surgery following her birth to straighten her leg, which is now fully functional. Hemispherectomy When Jessie Hall was six years old, she suffered from debilitating seizures caused by Rasmussen's encephalitis. Her first seizure occurred while on a boat with her parents on Lake Texana near their Texas home. It happened again when she was in kindergarten and they continued to become more frequent and more severe from there. It was destroying the right side of her brain and impairing her functions. So in 2008, Dr. Eileen Vining, the director of the Pediatric Epilepsy Center at Hopkins Children's, took on her case. Performing a radical surgery known as a hemispherectomy, doctors hoped this would stop the seizures. The procedure involves removing half of the patient's brain. After the seven-hour surgery, Jessie suffered left side weakness and some vision loss, but was otherwise all right. Today, Jesse is seizure-free and leads a happy life. Self-appendectomy Back in the early 1900s, Dr. Evan O'Neill Kane was concerned about the dangers of using general anesthetic too often while performing surgeries and wished to prove that local anesthetic would be safer. In 1921, rather than finding a willing guinea pig, he performed surgery on himself, wanting to know what it felt like from the patient's point of view. Using mirrors, Dr. O'Neill Kane was able to successfully remove his own appendix under local anesthesia. Despite the large incision that was required back then compared to today, he was able to go home the following day. Giving birth twice. Back in 2008, Chad and Carrie McCartney were anxious to find out the sex of their fifth child at the 23rd week of the pregnancy. When the ultrasound technician turned on the machine, however, they saw their baby had a tumor growing out of her tailbone the size of a grapefruit. Doctors transferred Carrie to Houston to be seen at the Texas Children's Hospital. Carrie was put under very deep anesthesia and her uterus was removed through an incision in her stomach. Careful not to disturb the placenta or lose too much amniotic fluid, they removed nearly 80% of the baby, leaving just her head and upper body submerged in order to remove the tumor. After a four-hour procedure, doctors closed the uterus and implanted it back into Carrie's abdomen. Their baby, Macy Hope, was born again 10 weeks later at the Texas Medical Center, happy, healthy, and tumor-free. Hindu Goddess Miracle Baby Lakshmi of India was named after the four-armed Hindu goddess of wealth because she was born with four arms, four legs, and even some additional internal organs. Lakshmi's twin sister was fused with her in the womb. Without surgery, doctors advised her parents that she would not make it to adolescence and would never be able to walk. In 2007, when she was two years old, a team of 30 medics was tasked with removing the extra limbs. After a 27-hour surgery, the fused twins' limbs and organs were removed, and Lakshmi's pelvis and spine were realigned. Separation of Conjoined Twins In 2009, identical twin sisters Trishna and Krishna had never seen each other's faces, despite being born only minutes apart. That was because they were born conjoined at the top of the head and shared some brain tissue as well as blood vessels. 
born in Bangladesh and put up for adoption because their birth parents could not provide for their special care, they were brought to Australia by an aid worker when they were just a month old. The girls were given only a 25% chance of recovery, but after 30 hour surgery needing 16 specialists and five weeks of recovery, they were using walkers to move around the hospital separately. All right, folks, that's our video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. And while you're here, check out these other awesome videos and subscribe to The Richest for more cool content all the time. Thanks.